So if you're an Amazon seller and want someone to manage your account, so you need to add them in your Amazon Seller Central as a sub user and you need to give them the permission of the task so they can perform that task for you. For example, if you're hiring someone to create listing for you or to manage or optimize the PPC campaign for you or any other task related to your Amazon business, then this short video will help you a lot. Because in this video, I'm going to show you step by step that how you can add someone else in your Amazon account and give them the permission they want. And this method is completely safe for you because if you add a person in your Amazon account today, so you can just delete that person anytime, any day. So for example, if you are hiring a person to perform a particular task for you, so after completion of that task, you can just take the access of your seller center from that person back. So let's see how you can do this. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnels and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm on Seller Central now and in order to add someone in your Seller Central, first of all, you need to go on the setting button on the top right corner and here you need to go down to the user permissions and when you click on that, you will be able to see your name and your email address under that tab. So for example, if you want to add someone else, so you can just type their name here and you can just type their email address here. And after typing their name and their email address, you need to click on invite. So after clicking on that invite button, they will get the email of invitation and once they will accept that email, their name will be shown here under this tab. So you can see that on this account, these two person are having the rights to manage the account. So if I add another person, so that person will be the third person and will start showing under this current users tab. So once that user will accept your invitation from their email, so their name will be start showing here and from the right side, you can see that here's the button called manage permission. So from that button, when you click on this manage permission button, you can actually give them the permission for the task you want them to manage. So it's up to you. You give them all permission or only some of the limited permission you want. And just like that, after that manage button, you can see the delete button. So you can just click on that delete button and delete that user anytime you want. So let's see what we can find under that manage permission button. So when we click here, so we can actually see some blocks here. You can see that the first block is of advertising. And when I go down, you can see that there are some other blocks as well, like Amazon Pay, Growth, Inventory. So for example, if you want that person to manage your inventory, so from their inventory planning, you need to check this blue box from None to View and Edit. So in the same way, if you want them to manage the shipment for you, so here on the Manage FB Inventory Shipment, you need to change that toggle button from None to View and Edit. Just like that, you just need to go down and you just need to change the button from None to View and Edit for whatever task you want them to perform. So as soon after you check on all of those permission that you want to give them, you need to go further down at the last and here you need to click on continue. So after giving all of those permission, when you click on continue, so that person will having all of those permission that we have just changed the toggle button from none to view and edit. So for example, if you have given them the permission of manage inventory, add product, manage advertising campaign. So after clicking on continue, that person will be able to manage or create your PPC campaign, add some products on your account edit those product, optimize that listing and manage all of your shipment if you have given them the shipment access as well. So by following these steps, you can just add anyone into your Amazon seller account so they can manage or perform the tasks you give them. You can just hire some freelancer employees remotely and you can just add them like this so they can perform the tasks for you and that can save the time for you. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.